Are you facing a frustrating error in Eclipse that says it can't find your filter file? You're not alone. Today, we're going to tackle the issue of ignoring the missing filter file error in your palm.xml when using resource filtering. I totally get it. It can be really annoying when you're trying to build your project and Eclipse throws up errors that seem unnecessary. Many developers have been there and it's a common hurdle in multi-module projects. Let's dive into the specific situation. One user recently asked, how can I update the pom.xml of child A to permanently ignore the missing filter file error? They have a multi-module project with resources filtered in both child A and child B. Sound familiar? Let's find a solution together. So what's happening here? Eclipse is flagging an error because it can't find the filter.properties file during the build process, even though it's available when you run the application. This can be a bit confusing, but don't worry, we can fix it. And stick around. By the end of this video, you'll know exactly how to update your pom.xml to ignore that pesky error, and I'll share a bonus tip to streamline your workflow. To begin resolving the missing filter file error, the user should open the pom.xml file of child A in Eclipse. Next, the user needs to add a configuration section to the Maven Resources plugin. This will help ignore the missing filter file error. After adding this configuration, the user should save the pom.xml file. This change will prevent Eclipse from flagging the missing filter file as an error. Finally, the user should refresh the project in Eclipse. This will ensure that the changes take effect and the error is cleared. Fun fact, did you know that the Maven project was originally created to simplify the build process for Java projects? It's come a long way since then, but sometimes it still throws us curveballs. Now, let's look at the answers provided by other users. An alternative solution provided by a user is to upgrade your Eclipse version. They found that the issue with the missing filter file error disappeared after upgrading from Eclipse Luna to Neon. That's it for that response. Let's explore another one. An alternative approach suggests that instead of referencing the filter properties file from the target folder, you should reference it directly from the source folder. This means updating your pom.xml to point to the sr slash main slash filters directory. Additionally, you can keep the properties file in the parent directory and reference it from both child modules. This method can help avoid the missing filter file error in Eclipse. Lastly, it's important to consider how your project will behave when listed as a dependency. Using relative paths can lead to issues, especially on build servers. Instead, it's recommended to store shared resources in a deployed archive. Here's a bonus tip. Always ensure your filter files are correctly referenced in your project structure. This can save you from similar issues in the future. And there you have it. By updating your pom.xml, you can now ignore that annoying missing filter file error. If you found this video helpful, please subscribe for more troubleshooting tips and remember to keep your projects running smoothly.